All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you a pretty cool little card trick, and this is what it looks like. So as you've probably noticed, I've actually pulled out four cards ahead of time, and I've placed them on the table over here. And this is because this is just a little packet card trick, and we're not gonna be using the entire deck for this trick. So what are these four cards, you may ask? Well, these four cards actually just so happen to be the one, two, three, four jokers. Now, these jokers are very special cards because you can call them wild cards. And this is because if you're playing a game, for example, and you're missing any cards for some reason, you can actually use the jokers in replacement of those cards because these jokers can act as any value in the entire deck. So what happens if we take a joker here, for example, this one, and I turn it over? What I'm going to do is take this joker and actually place it just somewhere in the center of the pile like this and it's gonna be facing up. So the only joker here that is facing up in the pile. Now, all I have to do is give it a little twist and snap just like that. And you actually see that this joker is a wild card and it actually changes into the ace of spades, which is pretty neat. So what happens if we now take this ace and we go one, two, three for the other three jokers, which actually now are the one, two, three, four aces. And that is truly the one, two, three, four aces. You can examine everything at this point. And yeah, that is the trick. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you liked it, be sure to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little packet card trick I came up with. It's a really cool trick by itself, but you can also use this as an ace production and you can move into any four ace card trick or any four of a kind card trick. So this is all you're gonna need. You're just going to need any four of a kind. I'm gonna use the four aces and you're also gonna need two jokers. Now, these two jokers don't have to be identical necessarily, but in my opinion, I think it will help if they are identical. Identical. But if you guys don't have access to identical jokers, that's totally fine. It's not going to ruin this trick in any way. And you're also going to need the rest of the deck. Now, you don't actually need to use the rest of the deck for this trick, but you are going to need it for the very end of the trick, for the cleanup, essentially. And this deck is only going to be sitting here just in the center of the table the entire time. The setup for this trick is actually very simple. All you want to do is take the four aces, and what I like to do is take the ace of spades and make sure to place this card in the second position. This is going to be the card that is first shown when you do that Elmsley count and you reveal that the joker has changed into the ace. This will be the ace that is shown, whichever ace is in the second position. So I just make sure to put the ace of spades there and then also I have to make sure to flip it over. So this card will be the only card that is reversed in these four aces. And then once you do that, you're just gonna take one joker on the bottom and one joker on the top. And this is your setup right over here, your six card stack. This is going to be placed on the table. And what I like to do is actually place them on the table like this, and then it looks like you have four cards. So how do you do that? What I'm doing is called an Ascanio spread. This is a way to spread a packet of cards, of four cards or even more cards as well. And this packet over here that I'm holding is actually a a clumped packet of three cards. So how to do this spread is I like to place my thumb and middle finger on the right edges of the cards. Then what I'm gonna do is take my left thumb and fingers and peel off the top and bottom card at the same time. And then once the bottom card has been peeled off, my middle finger will then move from the bottom card to this card, the next card from the bottom and lift it up with my middle finger. So I'm just gonna push up with my middle finger. And now my middle and thumb are holding onto this three card packet as one card. So it's just holding all those cards together. So one more time, you take your thumb, peel off the top card, fingers peel off the bottom, and then your middle finger moves to the next bottom card and it lifts that up, then you're just gonna hold all these cards together and just make sure you don't split these cards apart. And I just take these, I just kind of drop them on the table. And if they look like this, that's totally fine as long as it looks like four cards. So this is my starting position. What I do now is square up these cards and I'm going to turn them over to show the four jokers. Now it sort of looked like I was doing an Elmsley count, but I'm not doing a traditional Elmsley count. I'm doing sort of a weird type of count to be showing four jokers. What you're gonna do first, instead of taking just one single card, you're actually going to push off everything. You're gonna push off the top five cards as one joker. So you're gonna do that by 
taking your thumb and pushing off everything at once. Once you do that, your left hand will then grab everything here. What you're gonna be doing is basically switching the packets in your hands. You're gonna do this sort of like an Elmsley count, how you're actually going to replace these five cards on the bottom of the right hand over here, and your left hand is going to then grab the single card in your right hand. You're basically just switching the cards in each of your hands. So what you're gonna do is first line them up together like this, and then you're going to just peel off the single card into your left hand while your right hand grabs the five cards that you had taken before. This will be the second card, and then you're gonna do this one more time. So you're going to load this on the bottom of the pile, and then you're gonna push off everything once again to count as three. So you're gonna push off the five cards again, this will be counted as three, and then the last card you place singly on top as four. So one more time, you're in this position when you start out. You start out by pushing, you take everything, that's one, you're going to load everything back together and just peel off the single card as two. Then you're going to load the single card back and push off everything again with your thumb as three. And then you're just gonna place the single card on top as four. And at full speed, it looks something like this. We have one, two, three, four jokers. And that's your mock Elmsley count right there. Once you've done this, you just need to get a break right on top of the bottom two cards. So I do this just by riffling off two with my thumb and then I hold a break. Now you just need to transfer these to a thumb break. So you just transfer from the pinky to the thumb and now you're holding a gap in the back with your thumb. And all you do now is take the top joker and you're gonna use the packet to flip that card over. And what you're gonna do now is place this on the bottom and then you're gonna drop these two cards off on top of it like this. And now you're gonna still separate everything together with this pinky break. And now what you're gonna be doing is spreading out all of the cards on top of this break. So you're gonna spread out these cards and then hold these three cards together as one. But you're gonna do this as you uh, raise your hand up because you don't want the spectator to see these aces yet. You just want them to see the backs of these cards. So they're gonna be seeing this, but you're gonna be seeing this. When you do this, what you're gonna be doing is taking the three cards here and you're going to in jog them so they're lower than these three cards over here. And this will allow you to then reposition your hands so that you can get into this position over here so that you can take these three cards that are now out jogged as one single joker. And you're gonna be pretending to insert this somewhere in the middle of the pack, but all you're gonna be doing is taking this and just leaving it on the bottom. So right here, you can either do this next part or not. You can either like take these two cards that are behind the joker and you can push them down secretly so that now you really only have a single card sticking out, or you don't really have to do that. You can also just leave these three cards together squared up, and then you can push them together and say, look, we'll take the joker and push it inside. So this next part of the trick is very important that you don't mess it up. So once you take the joker and you push it in, you don't wanna just lower your hand down because this position is actually the incorrect position to be in. So what you want to do is when you push the joker in, you actually wanna take the cards and flip them over in your hand. How you wanna remember this is you just want the spectator to be seeing the back of this card the entire time. Because if you think about it, when you push this joker in, they're currently looking at the back of this card. So when you push that joker in, you still want them to see the back of this card so you wouldn't lower your hand this way because that would turn the cards over. So you want them to continue looking at the back of this card. So you wanna turn the cards this way. And this will now put you in the correct position for the next part of the trick, which is a normal Elmsley count. So this part is actually the easiest. All you wanna do is just give a twist or a snap. It doesn't matter what you wanna do, but now you're just gonna be doing a normal Elmsley count. So you go one, two, three, four, and you just leave that ace out jogged, and then you spin the card out. I like to give it a little card spin as well, just for a nice little effect. And then you're just gonna wanna take this card, turn it over and put it on the bottom of everything and flip over the entire pack. And now this is the ending of the trick right over here. So you say, not only did this joker turn into an ace, but we can also twist the cards and make everything else turn into the aces. And how you do this is the exact same Ascanio spread move. So you hold the cards on your thumb and middle finger, your thumb peels off that top card, your fingers peel off the bottom, and your middle finger peels off that next bottom card over there. And this will put you in the position to show all four aces, but over here, I'm actually concealing both of the jokers behind this ace of hearts. And the best part about this Ascanio spread is you can actually show the aces and then you can turn your hand over and you can like show both sides of the cards because if you look at the backs, 
it looks like four normal backs as well. So when you're in this position, what you wanna do is take this ace of hearts here that's holding all of these cards together. And this is the card that's gonna be dropped on the deck first. I take the ace and I give it a little squeeze like this, just a little bend. This will make sure that everything sticks together and that they don't split apart. So I'm gonna squeeze it and just kind of place it on the deck. I'm not gonna drop it from really high up because if I do that, they might split apart. So just place it down nice and gentle and then take the other aces and then now you can start kind of dropping them from a little bit higher. But once you're in this position, you're basically done because all you have to do now is peel off the four aces and you're going to flip them over one at a time to just reinstate in their mind that they're not double back cards or double face cards. And that is the trick. You're essentially over. The only thing now is you have these two jokers that are face to face on top of the deck, but you really don't need to worry about these. You can just kind of set the deck down like this, and now you can show off the four aces to the spectator. And if they're busy looking at these cards, and if you really want to get rid of these, what you can do is get a break on them, just palm them away like this as you set the deck down, and then you can place these in your pocket any way you want. But yeah, that's essentially the trick right there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this cool little packet trick. I think it's really, really cool and really fun to do. It's definitely very visual for the spectator, and it's really fun to practice as well. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Bye.